What's up everyone, it's Curtis YZ, and I got a quick review for you. I watched the Killing Season. I watched Killing Season. No the. But, it wasn't bad. It is a geezer teaser. As you can see, it's got two old stars. One has probably hair plugs. That's probably the weakest thing about the movie, besides the budget, possibly. But, other than that, had a really refreshing, felt very new storyline that I had never really seen before. It felt, felt fresh. You know, I liked that for it. I liked the movie a lot for the storyline and the theme of the movie. Um, the acting was really good. I don't feel like they held back. I felt like they acted their best essentially. Um, John Travolta's got an accent in the movie, so again, that's probably another one of the weaker parts, but I don't think he did bad. I think he did pretty good. So, anyways, I just wanted to put this out there because it wasn't a bad movie. Like I said, there's some sh visual shots that might be maybe weren't as up to par as they could have been because of the budget, but other than that, it was pretty solid. Uh, I really liked it, and I'm glad I bought it. So uh, I didn't react to it. I don't think it's a really good reaction movie, but it's a good movie and a, a, a solid eight, maybe, maybe higher, but it's just hard to say. 8.5 is fair enough for me. But yeah, it's just, it was fun and uh, had a deep meaning and it was a low budget, but they, that's what I really liked about it. You could feel it was low budget but they never felt like they were trying to be lazy about anything, and they tried their hardest on everything, it felt like. So regardless of the low budget, budget, it felt like they were really trying. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was, so I ended up watching this movie on my laptop instead of the giant... Yes. God. I, why can't I point... Okay, doesn't even matter. There's a TV over there. Um, it's huge and it's like 4K and the picture was crystal clear and I didn't like that because you could see the low budget and it was so fluid. I hate that. I do not like 4K when I'm watching movies. It just doesn't have the frame rate that I like when watching a movie, which is about 32, I believe, or something. It's not very high. I don't like high frame rates when it comes to watching movies because it just doesn't look right to me. It's probably because that's how I just grew up. I don't like 4K. It just looks horrible to me because it's so clear that you can see everything and it looks cheaper because of that. I just don't like it. Anyways, so that's what I did and I liked it for that. If you watch it on 4K and you think it looks bad, then try what I did and watch it on an older TV, a TV with lower frame rates, uh, 1080 or whatever. I just not 4K. But anyways, that's my review. Thought it was pretty good. 8.5 is fair, fair enough to me. Take it easy, everyone. If you t if you see this movie or if you have seen this movie, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. And if you want to subscribe, that's greatly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy.